So when I first looked at this problem, I was like, I am not going to read those fractions. So I decided, I'm going to simplify this problem and just read, determine which of A equals some fraction and B equals some fraction is all drew without using a calculator. I really wish I, really wish I had a calculator, but apparently we don't. And I cannot deal with those fractions. So let's do something simpler. And we need a lot simpler here. So I'm going to just pick a very small number for the numerator. Just say, hey, five. And with the denominator, well, that's just one larger than the numerator. So that's six. So that's fraction A, or fraction B, well, that's in the exact same form, right? Some fraction, uh, some numerator over a denominator, that's one more than a numerator. And to compare to these, we can use common denominator, but we cannot use common denominator up here, way too large. So we'll do something else, just like we will we'll, we'll do up there. Well, hey, we can compare sort of the distances to one, because now what we're doing is Taking these gig wait no not these gigantic numerators these gigantic numerators up there and we're turning them down to just one which number one is a lot smaller and number two these are common uh, these are common numerators which means one sixth is larger than one eighth because the rule for common co common numerators not denominator common numerator is that when the number well the number of the smaller denominator is larger and the number of the larger denominator is actually smaller which means if this um if, if this is larger than one eighth that means you're taking some number and you're subtracting a large amount compared to that that same number minus a smaller amount which means that number that you're subtracting the smallest amount from is greater which means this sign a little common there is a greater sign, or as I like to think about it, I think of these as distances to one because, well, this distance, one eighth, compared to that distance, one sixth. Well, one eighth is clearly, is clearly less, which means this number, seven eighths, is closer to one than five sixths, which means seven eighths is to the right of five sixths, and the farther right you go, the larger the number becomes, which is seven eighths is, again, greater than five sixths. And now I have an idea about how to handle these fractions up there. We can do the same thing. So that big fraction over there is 1 minus 1 over, and I'm just going to write 9. Did you, way too lazy to write all that up compared to a b, which is 1 minus 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, an 8-digit number. Now that's nice, because now what happens is that we don't have to compare these denominators like we did down here, because an, a non-digit number is clearly larger than an 8-digit number, which means that the number of the smaller denominator uh, is larger, which means this distance is larger than this distance, meaning that uh, fraction A is closer to one than fraction B, or otherwise saying that fraction A is our winning fraction.